company food bank. Uh, so I know what we're doing. I'm running late, mainly because parts of my setup weren't where they were when we stopped last week. So I couldn't find, specifically, I couldn't find the power source for the speakers. And then when I went to go get my key, it hadn't been broken. Hey, Random, how are you doing? I'm going to be a little flustered today, just heavy warning. Because whenever this stuff happens, I just end up flustered for the entire time. And I mean, hell, the last stream was me flustered over the glue up because we have a warped piece right here. But we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So... We're going to at least start putting these up here. So here's something new, though. I went ahead and got, uh, please tell me you're sitting correctly. Okay, you're good. I went and got a uh, Wonder Dog. That's basically my, my birthday present to me, even though it's a couple weeks early. Um, but I had already gotten my woodcraft. Uh, 10% discount. That I'm going to be using as a lead vise. And right now you see me putting this into this vise. This is uh, this is intentional um, because right now we just have glued miter joints. We need to do something to help it structurally. Because a glued miter joint is among the weakest joints you can do. I mean, it is just a picture frame, but we do need to do something. Man, you can definitely tell. Oh. That, 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 that. There. Now let's see if we can get you to sit. Which the answer is going to be no because that's the entire reason why. You blew up was so hard last time. Okay, there. I can never find three more of these. I am? Good to know, let me see. Let me see, is it upside down? Oh. Uh, come on. I hope you. Uh, uh the lapel itself is not gonna be bad. Um Guys, tell me if the mic is still acting up. I think it got fixed. The interface to the computer is what fell over. Um, and there's a mic attachment to it. Okay, then what had happened is it, when it hit the ground, it turned the gain all the way to nine. And typically the gain's at around three and a half. So you guys were hearing a lot of background uh, static that Unfortunately, that mic attachment has. Let me get these out of the way for now. So what we're going to do today is put some cross grain strengthening in here. Maybe cut the board to size as well. And maybe put tools in here because I realize now this has been sitting under my bench for a week now and not in its home. I'm going to do my best to cool down because like after searching for feverishly through the entire house for my power supply that was missing, I'm a little up in arms. <laughs> there we go.
Ah, I mean, I'm glad you can catch it, Mecca. So what we're going to most likely do is uh, treason of the highest order. These are glued miter joints. And I'm just going to sink a nail in, in each joint as reinforcement. Is, is it even following me? Thank you. There we go. All right, so the idea is we have these really, really weak glue joints holding everything together. We need to put something in there. And these are very, very small profiles. The easiest thing to do would be to just sink a nail. Uh, Yeah, and that's basically what we're going to do is just sink a nail into each one uh, through the 18 inch sides so that uh, because this is the top or this is the top so that the pressure is applied throughout. And just to give you guys an idea, this is the kind of na this is the kind of nail I'm using. It's a headless brad and we will compare that to the nail i usually use when i use uh, so it's much smaller in profile it's actually made for this kind of work this is it's it's a nail that you would use in moldings get out my favorite little hammer apparently lost art press is going to be making uh, cross peen hammers like this, but I already have one. And, you know, I just picked up a pickguard and it does everything I need. I mean, nothing against lost press, just the pickguard does everything and I don't, I don't have to wait for them to fully develop a hammer. But I did find it interesting that they're going to try and do cross peens. Okay, here's my nail. Of course, it's the smallest bit I own. Got it. But that would make sense if it's a fine finish nail, a fine finishing brad. It's going to be the smallest bit I own. All right. I guess the other question is, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this, Mecca, but I think this is actually too narrow. I was thinking about using my, uh, just let it follow me. Um, it's small enough. I was thinking about using this guy, but I think it's actually too narrow because we have an 18 inch wide frame. And I think we made this. Oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. I have lied. I forgot. We made it wide enough to do 18 inches with a little room on each side, which means we can bore holes and hammer to our heart's content. It's like I planned it, even though I know I didn't plan it because I'm frustrated to all high hell and back. Um... Also, sorry last week for getting stupid frustrated at the uh, glue up process. One second, put it in my meat clamp so I can torque it just a little bit better. There we go. So if we're going to use headless brads, and I do need to make a little fastener box. 
I mean, you guys know I have the, uh, the old plastic and metal beasts, but I want ones that can hold, you know, this amount of nails in one drawer. So I'm thinking about making one of those just so I can have an entire drawer of headless brads, an entire drawer of... Oh, I know, I know, but still, I'm sorry. This is solid. Like, I can take it out of the clamp. There's no issue with that. I just, I haven't, which I probably will need to take it out. Before we go too far, get that brad out of the way. This is, I gotta say, so far, like, all of the projects we've built have been slowly building to making better and better things because I seem to use this thing actually a lot now and it is perfect for dovetails so I'm stupid happy about that. This is 24 inches, right? Ooh, I think I know what I want to do with these. Make little hangers for my, uh, for my long stuff. Yeah, I, I think that would be nice. Just make a hanger for this. Like completely screw, yeah, the, the saws can hang on the back wall. And just make a hanger for this and make a hanger for my, uh, my stickers because they don't have a house yet. And then, yeah. And then my big panel saws can just, honestly, this is what I want to do with my panel saws. I have, sorry, I'm on a tangent. I'm voiding out here. Um, so this is something my dad made for me long, long time ago, like when I was five. Kind of like that orange toolbox that has all of my, uh, my, uh, all of my molding planes. Notice it has three pegs. What I want to do Okay, yep, it would be this way. It is plenty strong enough to be my sawtill. So I may just, like, when, when I get to a new place, find a way to fasten that baby up to a wall, and there's my sawtill instead of just hanging them from nails. Because I've got my coarse rip saw, and then I've got my standard use rip and my standard use uh, cross cut. So I may just make those my, uh, may make that my saw till and just put other tools up on the top there. Okay, let's get things off of my bench. Okay, I'm feeling better already because we're moving forward. Moving right along. This guy. I want to say this guy. Yep. Which means you're fine. Move you. This guy. All right, let's get the Wonder Dog out of here. <laughs> and someone didn't. This saw seems like a good moment. The coarse rip is necessary for this saw. Yeah. Say, say hello. Hey. It all seems like exactly what I need. You mean the rat. Rat dog, rat dog. Do, 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 do. I'll probably get flack for that, but it's a rat dog. Get up, over, lock. Mm. 
<clears throat> okay, we're moving forward. You know, looking at this going, I need to put a plane to the surface of this just to get these marks out of it from the flood. Notice that I'm keeping these here. It's just a little extra support. Uh, yeah, you're right. I could just use my cabinet scraper. Thank you, Mecca. Also, you notice that there's a dead stop. It will not slide down because there's at least something registering on this bit. And we just want light light pressure enough to just hold it still okay, this is going to be a pain in my tuchus Pull out a tool I barely ever use. It's going to be essential though for this. There you are. My all. Um, specifically, okay. All right, right through the thickest part. All right, guys. And for something as delicate as this, always pre-drill. Also, since I'm using this vise, it's impossible for me to sink the nails in the wrong direction. Um, well, directions through the wood. Direction, uh, head-wise, different story, but it can only... Uh, yeah, but Mecca, thank you for saying that, because now... I'm going to pull this out while, while you said that, so I know to come back and fix it off screen. Or maybe after we're done sinking nails. Okay. Do I have a tack hammer? I mean... Also, where did... Oh. Because you want to be as gentle but as forceful as possible. Ah, no, I'm hitting it. Okay, we'll sand that out. Let me see if I've got a tack hammer somewhere. Bad as it sounds, I may just use this baby. No. Nah. All right. <clears throat> really need like the needlepoint hammer and I don't know if I have one of those anymore. A peen peen might work. My small peen. No. I can already feel that one. Guys, I'm an idiot. 
There we go. When in doubt, <laughs> raise the surface you're hammering. Okay, this one's too big to set it. One more. Set and forget. Always have nail sets. I've, I've always had a set of three nail sets in my pocket. I just, you barely ever see me use them. Oh, hey Chance, glad to see you in. Sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, doesn't read out most emotes, so sorry I missed you coming in, but glad you're here. Remind me to put a little bit of lithium grease on this baby. But next one. So Chance, we are, uh, we're going to do it. I'm going to have to do this one right-handed. Otherwise, mm, otherwise, I'm going to run the handle right into. I'm going to run the handle right into this screw. Okay, we want to go right here. Okay, there, we got little divot for the screw to follow. Good thing about these drills, they're cross-handed. Next one, please. Do we have powdered graphite instead of lithium grease? Uh, pick up ooh, I'll I'll go get some graphite then. Right now, it just has some. It just has a little bit of uh, light machine oil on it. When I first got it, it definitely had grease on it, and it, it was so clogged with grease and uh, grease and sawdust that it wouldn't turn. I had to completely disassemble it and take every ounce of grease off of it. So right now it just has light machine oil on the gears. Just, I'm sitting here thinking about it going, it needs something more than the light. Man, you people are giving me life hacks, carpentry hacks. Next one, you can make your own by the leaf. Sounds good. I've got I got plenty of uh, drafting uh, drafting sticks. You know the the quarter eighth inch thick drafting sticks. All right. And just like we did before. Take the big boy. It is now my hammering side. Oh Lord! Yep, yep, yep. We let's pull that out. Didn't get it far enough down. Although that bent back fairly easily, this just may be a Thank you. Also, if you can ever find these guys, pick up a set. I found mine rusting on the ground, but these are very useful tools. Um, basically, I don't know the name of them, but I think they're just nail pliers is the name, maybe.
Now we just drive her home. Okay, slightly above. Use the set that actually is for this nail. One more whack and we set and forget. Yeah, it is amazing how much you learn every single time you, you do something or talk to someone. Okay, that's one. Two. Buckle my shoes. And this is the side that's actually critical that gets nailed. Right. It's not the rematch. We're, we're getting her done. It was glued up. It took a while for me to finally get it stable to glue. But, Payne, if you notice, you know, there's no clamps on this side. We're, we're setting in some reinforcement nails. Then we're going to uh, either cut the back or uh, sand the profile a little bit. Okay, just enough pressure to make sure it doesn't bounce. So yeah, right now we are just setting nails so that it is a... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make the divot on both of them. Oh, we're doing pretty good, Harley. Doing pretty good. The frame is has become one <laughs> entity. I don't even know why this is out. Okay. We're putting some reinforcement nails into it because this is a little too difficult to spline. Drilled, right hand. Not gonna lie, I love having an egg beater drill. It's much, much more nice to sink, uh, count, you know, pre-drill holes when you can go down at a speed that is slower than a turtle. The torque is in my own hands. But how have you been? Okay. Nail is in. Nail is in. Don't. So, Harley, just so you, you know, um, we are actually reinforcing uh, the frame with, and pain as well, with uh, cut nails. These are... are cut he headless brads. So regardless, I need to uh, pre-drill holes anyways because they're not wire nails and they would split, they would most likely split the wood if I just tried to nail it in without that.
We'll fix that in a second. <laughs> Love how that's my answer. We'll fix that in a second. That's as far down as I can go with that one, get the actual set. Otherwise, I'll start marring the wood. One, two, three, and one more for good luck. All right, set. There we go. Nice. All right, big boy set. So birthday is coming up in a couple weeks, guys. Um, and birthday activity for me this year, um, besides like maybe doing a birthday stream. Here you go. Headless Brad, uh, and this is the big thing. Uh, Next one, Dave. Pain. Oh, yes, Mecca, that's definitely true. Those pincers will do everything a claw hammer can. Here we go. Um, so, you gotta remember a lot of what I do, if I nail it, I'm using cut nails just for the strength of it. And I'll show you a headless brad versus a finish nail here in profile. So the headless brad is more like what you would think of as like the hardened finish nails of today because they have a very, very narrow profile. Um, they're closer to what would be an actual, you know, like, hardened finish nail, um, but still kind of the profile of what a brad nail would be for like, you know, an actual brad nailer. Okay, here's the big boy. Get you in. But so much more strength than, than modern nails. Okay, set. Yeah, I, I, I need to get some because hardened finish nails are really good. Um, but I'm actually kind of liking the brads. You just got to pay attention to which way you're nailing them. Otherwise, you'll break the wood. So that. <laughs> Harley, you sound like me. One of these days I'll get to a project that, I mean, like, for the longest time. One of these days we'll get to a project that isn't me building something for the shop. Um, two years later, I'm building this picture frame for a, a, for a maker sticker board to put back here to, sh you know, show off, like, different maker stickers. So I'm still, still building my shop. Um... <laughs> I'm still building my shop. <laughs> oh, just exactly. Thank you for, for for defending my position, defending my honor, Mechaze. But I mean, I'm really at the, this is more of just an optional thing. It's not like when I was building the saw bench, then the workbench, then. Uh, my Moxon bike and my tool chest, those were literally building my, my shop. This is building something to see if I can do it, but building it specifically for the shop because if it comes out fantastically bad, nobody has to know but Wes and everyone who watched him build it. Okay, note to self. Hit this ba hit these babies up with a little bit of Project ahead, 
Oh, give me two seconds, I'll show you. I just want to get these clamps back in their box because even though there were a slight frustration, I want to keep... Yep, yep. Classic Doctor Who problem. Okay. Let me get the clamps put up and I will show you the saws. Th these clamps are made for something with a bigger profile to clamp onto. I figured that out. <laughs> a little too late, but it's still nice to have a full set of miter clamps. If I can ever find more of the other style miter clamp that I have, I mean, that's what I'm in right now. I am in a one car garage. Um, all right. Just cars not allowed. So back saws. I can physically tell the difference. This is my cross cut. This is my rip, but this is what they, they ended up looking like. Cross cut in the cross cut slot. Put. I didn't quite. Well, I. I don't know if that's a compliment or an. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, I'm just in a one car garage. Cars are forbidden. Hey, cat. All right. Now that we got the frame here, we're going to do this real quick. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I stream out of a no car garage. I mean, Honestly, there's a heavy chance that there will be a giant scene change in a few months. Um, because, oh, if you've been with us for a while, this entire garage flooded. And I want to, and Slime and I are most likely going to be looking for. Yes, do tell, Cat. Do tell. Okay, there we go. Take these and put them in knee knocker position so I can get to them. in, Mini Max in, Mini Mando on. All right. Get as much of my stuff over here as possible. I said this needs to be here so that I can just look at it and go, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do with it. Ah, you're you're good. You're good with metal working. You just show all the fallacies. All right. So, back to this. We're going to 
go ahead and clean all all right sorry I am not exactly sure where I want to go with this so let's see do we have some good we don't need waterproof we just need a little piece of 220 So something I decided on, we're painting this, by the way, um, and it's going to be milk paint because if I'm painting, why not? Different colors than the chest, though. Um, it's going to have a teal base coat and a black top coat. And we're going to rub out some of the top black coat to have like teal streaking in it because the Stanley poster I have of, of the old, of one of the Sweetheart era logos has a teal background on it. So I think it would be a nice little accent. Hey Jack, how you doing? I think right now we're going to sand all of the excess glue off. How you doing, Jack? I can't wait to actually use this for... Still can't wait to use this for my intended purpose of uh, a tail vise for mine. Instead of building a tail vise, I'm gonna use that as a tail vise for my benches. If it's still fall oh, that's why. Oh my God, you guys, y'all got to tell me when it freaks out. <laughs> Bad off, o OBS bot. This is what it is. It's my planer. Um, before you go and tell me I don't <laughs> know how to hand hand plane, I do know how to hand thickness boards and hand plane boards and all that stuff. Just when I need to like take something down by a quarter of an inch, I really don't. <laughs> That's called a productivity increaser. So I don't have to spend hours doing it. I'm gonna be testing that out soon because I've got a bunch of cherry I need to play with, but I don't use it on stream. Hey, TW. Right now, I'm not really worried with making it look super nice. I'm more or less just getting all of the dirt and grime off of it and prepping it for paint. Saw we had some. Wait, what? I mean, when when I use when I plane on stream, it's going to be hand planes. I'm not going to destroy people's ears intentionally. Today, though, it's sanding ASMR. I'm 
I'm just trying to get. Oh, nice. Puppers. Puppers. I am keeping track, guys. Don't worry. Let me get this out of the way so I don't accidentally dent up what I've already addressed. back here we had full penetration of glue that is really really helping my sanity and mind that's good especially on this side where where it was really really irking me because it closed up on the bottom it did not close up on the top Oh, you know what? Instead of wasting effort with that, eh, eh, eh. nah, okay, whatever. It hates me. There we go. Get that glue spill out off. That doesn't matter. Hmm. Nice bit of hard glue hit me right in the mouth. Tasty. All right, there. Let's actually measure how big this is now, because I know it's not 18 by 24. I know we're going to have to trim a little bit of the poster at this point. Okay, 23 and three quarters. By 17 and seven eighths. Okay. Let's do that so you don't have to have it hanging directly in your field of vision. Ah, it's still in your field of vision, whatever. Every. All right. Well, gee, thanks for calling me boring. Always transfer your measurements with the same boy that you did and you took them with. You know what? I'm going to double check because I'm not immensely sure of anything I do. I am glad I did that. I want to double check here too. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm confused, Kat. What's going on? Oh, I know. I'm just giving you time. Oh, just <laughs> we're just giving you a hard time there, cat. I'm not. I don't mean nothing by it. I don't know why I sanded the front. I'm going to have to do it again with my greasy old mitts touching everything. We're not using this. <laughs> not till I actually clean it. Apparently, whew, there's still flood dirt all over the back of that thing. We do have this, though, so... Ah, don't worry about it. If anything, you need another drink to keep you going. Question mark. Okay. Okay. That's one saw line. All right, well, ha have a good one, Harley. Okay. There. All right, have a good one, Harley. See you next time. It works, but not because of the reason you think. Um, oh, that one's actually not a black framing square. Okay, there we go. There's the back panel. Saw in time. Let me put my attachments back on. But yeah, I think I'm just going to make like a tool holder on that and give up on, not give up on the saw holder, but like just, well, yeah, give up on the saw holder, I guess is the right term. Um, but put these, like this needs to not be, just laying around all the time. A big old 24 inch machina square needs to be hanging up somewhere or you know stored somehow. That's what the Craftsman's Guild's for. <laughs> Mm. 
Let go. <laughs> it works by getting you drunk. Like it. The the. Yes, that is my 24 inch combo. I got it from Jesus. I can't remember the, who I bought it from off of, in the guild, but I bought the combo off of them. And my 73 record. All right. Do I want to do this on the saw bench? Mosquito, yeah. Yeah, it was mosquito. There's something like this. Let's not set up the bench. Let's just do old time's sake. Get me a piece of wood to smack a do. And we'll be good. Here's a smack a do a bowl of wood. And we will just have at you. Well, there went the mini Mando. <laughs> Where is my cross cutter? That would be this guy. And I immediately realized that my bench is way closer to the wood storage than it used to be. All right, hernia time. Yep, never mind. <laughs> It's easier to push. Yes, it was. And now I have a full set of carving chisels to go along if we do a second one. Hint, hint. If you're in the background, hint, hint. Right? <laughs> Instead of just using chisels. <laughs> Dear Wes, in the future, when you rebuild this, make sure there's casters. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I I honestly think yeah I've I've got my full complement of chisels because I don't I didn't like knife carving. Eventually, yeah. Um, I'm going to be rebuilding it at some point because this did go through the... Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're at the point where the bench is supporting it. Besides the back. Okay, what have you guys been saying? The fastest bench in the shop. Oh, I've built it before. I'll build it again. Ain't nothing stopping me. But 
I'm probably just going to put casters on this. Something that did happen recently that makes me happy is the part that was still stuck in the leg that caused me to have to literally, and I do mean literally, rip the leg, the, uh, the leg vise off of my bench. It's no longer is there. It fell out. But this entire leg structure here is uh, rotting. It's gonna, it's slowly rotting. There's nothing I can do to stop that because it was completely under poop water. No, I'm just a flood water. Um, and that's just the nature of the beast. Um, it was in flood water. Uh, yeah. And honestly, most of the bench needs to be replaced anyways at this point because of that. Um, so eventually when I get a new place, like right now, not a big deal. Next one is there's a new tool for using heavy equipment, like the no tool on an aircraft that can handle the lever arm. It, if you ever cut plywood with a handsaw, always grab a cross cut. This is why I wanted to do it on the bench because even with doing it on the saw bench, this thin plywood's going to be a pain. What's going on? Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm going insane, guys. All right, there we go. All right. Oh, yeah, those, uh, yeah, the. But like I said, it's more of a, it's an afterthought because this bench was intended to like sit in its place and whenever I need to move it, um, for like moving or something, you just take it apart and move it and then reassemble it because it's a knockdown. I found that I need to shift it more than I thought I would. And that makes me reconsider whether or not I want to put casters or something on it. Big old bench casters. Woo! Look at the back of that board. <laughs> Definitely tell I went as hard as possible. Well, as I said, we know what side is the back. We're going to do one thing, though. Let's see if I can... knock the fuzz a little bit down. Just so it won't murder my hands. I was somewhat against getting these in the beginning. These little uh, block plane pockets, but they're they're great. <laughs> All right, now we play the fitting game. No, we're not gluing or anything. Does it fit? It fits, it ships. So now we just need to glue the poster to the front of this board. Yeah. And then we need to paint the, paint the frame, glue the front of the poster on, and then put 
the back into the frame. I don't know if I'm going to glue the poster onto this on stream because that's that's going to be a super, super finicky process. Um, and I'd rather take like 30 or 40 minutes and just do it very slow without any distractions. I'm going to put this over here real quick um, and just get it done right. Um, cause what you really need to do is kind of squeegee the glue on and then perfectly position it, squeeze all the air bubbles out. Something I can do though, got these two embarrassing corners here. The did you. Oh, I'm feeling so much better than this morning. I upgraded my carving chisel pockety do. This is this is everything I got. Let's see if I can. Mm. Now that I'm looking at, I just want to bigger one. These are in candles. That's why I'm grabbing them. I'm going to see if I can pair this uh, ungodly egg down because there's a little bit of a discrepancy in right here. And I just want to make it less a discrepancy. So. Much better. Basically, this corner on both sides is a little high. And honestly, that in candle chisel doing its job. Okay, so now we flip. I guess you kind of get to see it this from this direction. Drink back over here. One of these days, I'm going to have everything all nice and thought out. Until then, deal with it. Uh -huh. I really should drill like another one like right here but yeah how many coffee elves did i hear coffee elves you're gonna have to explain that one cat i'm confused i'm i'm assuming Ah, so what I'm doing is just kind of using this in candle bevel um, and just carving this. Nice. I will check that out, Mecca. But yeah, what I'm doing right now is just kind of using this in candle bevel to bring this corner down because that's where the most egregious, you know, on this side on both of them, where the most egregious failure was at. OK. 
os af. Plup, plup. <laughs> okay, there we go. Back here where you belong. There we go. And now we just do some sanding, and I think we're going to hang up our hats today after sanding. because I do need to touch up what I just did. Um, uh -oh. You went in too far. No. Oh, you're out of the way. I'll get you out the old fashioned way. A laugh. Old fashioned way is just get it further in. Ugh. The old fashioned way. Come on. <laughs> there we go. I am terrible. Okay. I... There we go. The ink handle bevel is just something I bought for other things like making window sash and carving, but having it was great just because like I cut all I, I did all of the molding separate pieces as opposed to one like 12 foot long piece if I had done it as one 12 foot long piece like you're supposed to do it I really wouldn't have needed to use it So I think Wednesday, we're going to start painting. And you guys are going to love my streams. Watching Paint Dry 101 again. As I explain why I like milk paint and mixing milk paint. And you guys are going to be like, we're done here. No more, please, no more. <laughs> Plain old paint drying. All right. Plain old paint drying. Okay, that definitely helped these uh, edges that weren't lining up on the curve. And that's, in my mind, good enough. Let me hit this one real quick a little bit further because this is a hand carved one okay that smoothed it out okay we are technically <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here so we can get a nice picture for Instagram. For the Instas. Because now it's got nails in it and it's no longer invasive. Would that technically be a Steve's dream? Could be. I mean, I would... Listening to people apply paint be like ASMR. I guess it would be. All right. So one second, I'm gonna mute you guys so that I can bring up. Uh, so I can bring up the Twitchins and see who we raid out to. Unless Mecca, you're wanting to raid. My friend Dave is methodical and thorough cat. The concept could be executed much less perfectly and still work. All right. Let's see, we got Viking Viking, Saribot. Why is it? Hmm. Cat underscore LE underscore says, Ming, 
every project. Okay, it didn't it didn't mute. Okay, I am still hearing you guys. That's good. Either way, I got off the screen. We got Johnson and Nice Nathan. You guys got uh, suggestions on who to rate out to? I will take them into consideration. Right now, we're just looking through the screen. Yeah, let me not kill my toes. There we go. Let's see, we've got a knife maker by Johnson. Um, got a lot of Legos. Jewelry making. Mechaform Sage. We do have biking is on. Yeah, we do have biking. I just want to dig through in case you never know. Sometimes you find like that lone woodworker at the bottom of the pile. I do like to at least try and spread the love before I just go straight to someone in the in the guild. At least attempt it. So give me two seconds here. We got a leather worker here called the Salty Spittoon, who's apparently doing uh, harp crafting and leather working. I don't know what yet. Let me do this. Are you actually off this time? You're actually off. Okay, I'm gonna view for a couple seconds here. Okay, I think we're doing biking. Okay, biking, biking, 11. Um, we're going to do biking today. Like, I went to the end of the line, I couldn't really find anything. Um, we will, although we will continue trying to find new people, because, I mean, spread the love. The community can't grow if we can't try and find people. Um, Dash underscore LE underscore Sike says, thank you for the stream. All right. I'm, I'm glad you guys... I'm glad you guys came in and got to at least enjoy me putting the finishing touches on the assembly of this. So now we're at painting and making the backboard for it. Mechaform Sage, see you Wednesday. All right, and I will see you guys as well Wednesday. Um, have a good day and say hello to biking for me.